I just wanted to do a quick video review of this uh, kit's um, iPad type. So first of all, um, you know, it came in a really nice box and with some instructions and setup is really easy. Um, the iPad itself, I shouldn't call it an iPad, just a tablet. It's really soft and rounded, so there are no edges that a child could get hurt on. And on the back, there's a little stand so you can set it up straight. There's a microphone there and the camera. So right now I have it set on the on the parent one, and over here is where you would uh, put the settings and stuff. So I put some widgets on the front, so you can put whatever widget you want there, and um, you can put apps up there and access the internet. So the internet is right there, that little world button right there. And so mine is set on Amazon right now because that's where I was earlier. So, and to go out of there, you just go back home right there. Now you're back in the parent um, one. Here are the settings. So right there, you see there's the wireless access, uh, data usage, sound, display, storage, battery, different apps. To go home, you go there again. Oh, and to add a, a widget, that's pretty simple to do too. Press right there. And then right here, you see all the different options of the um, the browser, the camera, the clock, the downloads that you've done. To add a widget, you just push that button. And if I wanted to add this widget, I would just push it, hold it, and drag it on a screen. And just put it wherever I want it. So let's put it right there. Now... And then you scroll back to the center one because the kids one is right over there. So to get to the kids version, you just press that. And now the little kids tablet part will open up. And these are the different options for kids. So there's English, math, painting, um, the music, logic, camera, fairy tales, and then the encyclopedia. And, you know, I just... I played with it a little bit earlier, and I don't think a kid's going to be too interested in that. Let's press the animal one, and then it can say, what's an elephant, and press on the elephant. elephant. And it just tells you it's an elephant. You know, it's okay. I'm, I'm not crazy about that one. Um, then there's painting, the camera, uh, music, fairy tales. Let me show you the fairy tales. Just really easy to use for kids. They just choose a fairy tale they want to listen to. Walt Cutter and Hermes. There was a log cabin beside a large dense forest. Oh. Now the sound is really nice and loud. I do like that. I've had some other tablets where it just wasn't loud enough. So that really bothered me. And, and this was nice and loud. And the colors are rich. I like that too. And um, it is pretty easy to use. Now to go back to the parent screen, you would just push this little parent figure right there. And then there's a lock right there. And when you first get it, it's just set on all zeros. And then you go there. And then you're back in the parental mode. So there you can just access the, uh, the internet again. So yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, when it's a lot of money for a kid's tablet and there's so many different options out there. Um, you know, the Kindle Fire has a really nice kids tablet that uh, comes with some warranties and stuff that are really nice. So make sure that you compare and um, choose the one that you think will be the best fit for you and your child. Um, you know, this, this uh, shape of it is kind of fun. Um, let me show you each side right there. It's easy to hold, you know, for a little kid and it's, um, it's pretty sturdy. So I do like that.